Hey, good morning, good morning. This is Julie, JR Trading Strategies, and um, this is going to be a comprehensive video regarding the uh, 1, 2, 3 indicator to give you uh, the background of how to use the indicator as well as all of the indicator uh, features and the functions that you can use those features with on a NinjaTrader chart or in um, Blackbird. So we'll take a look at all that. Um, first, the background, and that is statistics. So basically, it's really simple. It's not difficult at all. You've got a mean or the middle part of a uh, bell curve that looks like a bell. And the um, traders will, on the options desk, will park their contracts inside the 70% or 68% um, and get paid. So if your strike closes within the 68%, they're in the money. So uh, the bell curve has this large 68%. I call that inside the PT1, from PT1 to PT1. That represents 34% and 34%. So you've got the middle of your curve, and you're going to trade long or short. So if you're going uh, short or you need to leave the mean and go to the first standard deviation. And once you get to that first standard deviation, you can make a decision to turn around and go back, or you can continue. And if you continue, you're going to go to the second standard deviation. And this one is a high probability target. If you're going to go for a directional trade away from the mean, look for that standard deviation of the two. The three can do a couple of things. It will signal you a breakout for a fat tail if it just keeps dropping off the map. Then you're in a hyperbolic trade um, that can be um, measured usually as either one half of the total bell curve beyond the three down or the entire uh, bell curve both halves together and so you can call those one sigma events and if you get six of these bell curves below that third standard deviation that's called a six sigma so you're really way out there that's what happened in February March so uh, we had a Six Sigma event with a pandemic when everyone was closing their accounts. So when you when you liquidate, it's just, you know, keep it on the um, sell button until uh, it starts, or go get count to six of these <laughs> and then stop selling. Um, but this is a great template to trade intraday. And why we know that is because of uh, math, uh, fractal geometry. Um, the markets are like all alg algorithmic, and these algos um, from the banks, the Goldman Sachs and the JP Morgans and everybody that's trading, Deutsch, big trader, um, the algos know where these levels are and will repeat the same patterns to push price inside of the pattern. So if we know where the ranges are, we know what they're looking for on that bell curve. So you can come to the CME group and look at their um, ball to ball expected range, one of the quick strike tool sets select your product you have to click this drop down go to the equity indexes come over here and select nasdaq and this will um, put a chart up for you and give you the details of your one standard deviation for the contract so this is the december contract and um, you can get in the weeds by looking to see where the puts and calls are. Here's your volatility line. So anything that touches or crosses the volatility line 
is a level that you want to be watching and then you can see whether you're going to be applying more bias for the puts to sell or more bias for the calls to buy and where these levels are and then of course always look at your standard deviation for your one two three know that the option traders are going to get paid if they're inside this one standard deviation if it goes outside the standard deviation then you're looking for these lines to get hit there's the line and there's the line here and if you get lost or can't find these gray lines look up above here you've got the one on both sides so right here 9773 right here and 13165 right there and this red number is telling you each half of this 68% has 1696 points on that contract. You can also um, go to your weekly option chain and pull up what's left on the weekly range, expected range of your open interest, and the same thing and give you some more finer tuned details. Like here's a great big giant hit me target 11600 and you can see that mainly there are calls so that you're looking to go long there's no more puts they're mainly all calls so that gives you confidence to be looking to go long and you get your levels just looking at the option change uh, chain but to trade on an intraday basis on a daily basis we can do better we can divide those ranges up and slice and dice this data like you would not believe so we can put it on the RTH range and I can give you our one two three for the daily uh, session we can put it in the one hour initial balance so I can break that up one two three right here I can do you a 60 minute we, we can put this into um, I'll get, give you a template with the indicator with the market analyzer so this is already set up for you but uh, so you don't have to do the settings but we'll come in here and configure the market analyzer and um, that way you'll know when the market opens how far do you expect price to go or what is your opportunity uh, range and um, remember the fractal that I showed you the picture of that's where we would expect the algos to start kicking in and bringing price back in so there's your target I would just stop trading it's not going to often it won't be right there on that exact level that they're going to turn around it's not like um, throw a dime on a curve bounce sometimes it is but uh, usually uh, algos are trading to um, volume profile levels or uh, gaps or something like that so um, this just gives you an idea of where to go so it's like you get in the car and you say where am I going so we know that when the market opens it we need to be looking for 114 points if we want to take uh, just a chunk out of that then we can look for 80 points 81 points roughly so this is great to measure by um, the PT123 indicator comes with uh, the ability to put that on your chart and that's the PT2, PTV2. Uh, you can select your period so if you want to look at something other than a 14 period you could type it in like a 20 or a 10 or a 50 whatever you want or you could use a time range instead um, and put 8.30 to 5.30 or 8.30 to um, 3.30 excuse me 3.15 um, so you don't have to click anything when it you just put it on the chart without any setting changes you can hit apply and this will give you the bar size that you're on that range so you can see over here that you've got 
1915, and 2725. And here it is up here on your market analyzer, 975, 1950, 2725. And so you don't have to have the indicator on your chart necessarily. You've got the numbers right up there for you. So that's important because if you are trading a 60 minute bar and the bar closes you will know to look for you know 1950 points if you're going long so that would be your target so that's extremely helpful and that's on average or you can just say it you know here's my first target 975 my second target 1950 or my third target I want all of it and what are you know what are we looking at really we're looking at a 14 period like I left it at the default period so you could put a 14 period donkey in on your chart and see what I mean um, Here's the donkey in, and we're going for nine seventy five, nineteen fifty, and twenty seven twenty five, so nineteen fifty. Get a box out real quick, a rectangle. Let's just make it 20. Little tiny 20 points right there. So when the bar closes, let's put this on a five minute chart. I could have my target to trade to. So this is dividing up, you know, the last 14 sessions. What can we expect for our ranges? One, two, and three. And um, to get it on your chart, to draw the indicator, to draw the lines on our chart, we don't have to, you know, put boxes on our chart we can put the indicator on the PT123 indicator a couple of things about it um, you can choose again whether you're going to use the bar size or whether you want to choose a RTH session range or if you want to change that to a one hour initial balance range. And if you're doing the um, session, the time ranges, you can choose whether to do that from the open of the bar or the close of the bar. So if you're trading the 830 open, you want to know where those targets are from the open. You can draw those. But if you just want to go from the prior session close, which is what really a lot of the algos use, um, you can do that by putting it on the close. So if we were going to put that 60 minute bar here using the 1, 2, 3, I can choose higher time frame and click apply. And there's my box. And that gives me that to get the rectangle off and I'm going to take the 123 indicator or the PT2 down there off the chart because now we have our boxes. We have our boxes and we have our levels up here. So this is um, taking our five minute chart and I know that if price gets down here that I don't want to be pushing it any further and sure enough just statistically they send it back in I mean this is like 
lather, rinse, repeat stuff. So these boxes tell you uh, over the last 14 sessions what that range divided up is. And you can see that the traders park the clothes inside the PT1 just like they do with the options because that's 68% of the time. All right, see how it ends up inside the box most of the time? Just like the fractal. When you get to the outer edge, you've got to figure out is it going to come back in like it does most of the time or do you have that fat tail moving price? And so it's easy to code this uh, using Bloodhound uh, to set it up to capture um, these breakouts and or um, set up a crossover solver to take a signal um, from these levels coming back in with Bloodhound on various time frames and the higher the time frame the better so this is like just day trading a five minute chart with a 60 minute distribution which is a pretty good one to do but you could also put this on that one hour initial balance range and that's that first hour of trading by just changing the distribution Having a phase. Yep. There we go. I don't know what happened. Okay. Um, so here we go, the one hour initial balance. That is a good template to use for especially identifying that breakout because you won't get into a higher move outside day until you break above or below this one hour initial balance IB template. So this is the first hour of trading, um, the possible range, and that's like I said, going to that from it opens, and then you got your up or down PT one two three. To put it on a um, RTH setting, oops. change the time let me put this on bigger uh, so that we can see it all right and let me get rid of the uh, donkey in there okay so now we get a better understanding of um, when the market opens, how far do we want to go and do we want to take a profit at a certain level. Um, I use the 8.30 to 15.15 on the um, open, but you can change it to the close if you want but I use it off the open because that tells me it's going to open. I've got it. I'm forcing it to be in the middle um, of my box. 
and I will know where that prior close was um, and I know where my PT123 is for the uh, RTH session. So using these tools of um, toggling and daisy chaining um, the levels, um, you could put a weekly on it. On a daily chart, you can put the uh, monthly distribution to get that overall picture. Uh, in fact, why don't we do that real quick. There again, you've got your range that you can expect for the one, two, three. And you can tell that we're currently on the monthly inside that month. So everything is copacetic. And as you can see going back, we fell out of this monthly range. And if we got the measuring tool out and measured it. So we measure this monthly range. And put this down here. Look where it went, right to the bottom of that range. And then the market fractal, that fractal geometry took in, kicked in, and they brought it back up. Um, this is a monthly range. Um, on the um, daily range, it was the Six Sigma. So markets um, normally um, will only give you part of that range when you break out you don't get the full range usually you'll get either between two and three or one and two or between one and three but you that I start with one and two and look at that that's where it went the first time and then it came back for the test So you can, you know, do these measured moves and get a, you know, gist of where price might be trying to get to. And then on a lower time frame, dial it down to the 60 minute chart um, or the one hour initial balance and try to see where you are trading intraday. Um, and then you have a target to trade to. So you open in the middle and we're trading to one and two. But you don't have to be as fast and furious as I am. Um, I'm sure you can incorporate this with your standard market profile and I advise that 100% because the algos are definitely tied to market profile. We just have a inside uh, baseball <laughs> on this, knowing where the algos are likely to come in and, you know, we know what the landscape is at any one time. So it's much better than just having a donkey and channel on your chart. And to put this in uh, Blackbird, you can put it on strategies. Uh, choose your shark indicators Blackbird. and uh, click Enable. And you could create a Bloodhound template, like I said, getting signals from these levels and trading them, or um, I just use it as profit targets. And so there's several ways, you know, that we can think about 
how to incorporate a strategy with as many different ways. It's just like how much can you slice and dice data, right? So <clears throat> if we create an order set Here we go. We can add a profit target two different ways. Um, you can use the PT indicator. So if you're trading a five minute bar and you want that 60 minute PT1, that 975, you can come in here and add profit target two times ATR. You're going to change the ATR setting down here he's got the ATR sitting down at the bottom location choose your JATS indicators choose the PT2 and then we want to choose the PT1 and that will give you the 60 minute but you need to put it on your bar size so it'll give you uh, if you want a 60 minute You'd have to come over here and make sure your chart was on the 60. I'm, I've got a 30 minute chart, so um, I don't have 30 minutes on this market analyzer, but um, same thing. It will give me the PT1 for the 30 minute. And I could add a different order set, so I could copy. Well, let's put the stop loss first. So the stop loss, you can do the same thing. You can give yourself an equal stop. So also put it in for the um, stop loss distance. So change that. And if you want to use the twos, um, you can set up a, a new order set. Click on it and just make the change to the setting from one to two. Um, the long factor, I forgot to mention, um, two times the range um, seems to be the right setting. So um, to check to see what you have, you can go to dynamic planning and say plan a trade. So that looks pretty darn close. probably want to come up here to the three. Since it's such a small bar. There you go, much better. So that'll get you from point A to point B, looky there. And that's exactly what Price did. <laughs> um, using statistics. Um, so set your targets out. You can, you know, play them off of, like I said, um, the RTH ranges or your initial balance range um, and there's a different way to use this in um, Blackbird you can use uh, this is an indicator base signal so you could uh, for instance get in uh, if it crossed 
say the uh, the PT2 so if you wanted to wait for or the PT1 so cross the PT1 long or short and you can set this on a time range so you could set this for your distribution size so you could say wait for a 60 minute distribution to hit that PT2 you know and you could use uh, or higher time frame uh, you could set it for 830 to 1515 or you can use your higher time frame here's your 60 minute just plug it in there and wait for price to hit that level um, and enter you can also set it up as an exit so on these signals um, this is setting it up as an entry if you wanted to set it up as an exit like a profit target uh, same thing you can set these up to exit that way or an uh, easy, easier way to do it is just set up a template in Blood, Bloodhound um, if you don't have Bloodhound or Blackbird that is fine you do not need to have that to be able to um, trade you could trade this um, by right clicking your chart or excuse me um, let me um, put chart trader app and you can um, like click a sell limit order and then right click your flag go down to um, attach to indicator properties and then choose the JATS PT123 right here PT3 and you want to do the A3 so here it is A321 321 for the B the A is above and the B is below <laughs> PTA above one two three so set it at PTA three and then you can um, either offset it to be a tick below or a tick above and modify toward last price only and that'll attach to the indicator so now you've got you're sitting right on the level same thing you could move that to the PT2 so you have to disable it and then redo it and we'll put that on PTA2 boom so you can set it up to trigger so like if you're trading on a chart and we're down here and you want to you can right click the indicator and set you know your flag up there um, so that you can hit your profit targets as price gets to these levels and so um, we're trading down to one two or up up to one one two um, during the 830 session so it opens in the middle of your chart and so we're like um, smarter than the average bear <laughs> we're creating our own mini distributions and laying them out using statistics uh, for levels to trade to so we're creating our own little neural network right um, and that's it so there you go PT123 it's two parts uh, you'll get it, the indicator to tell you what these levels are broken out over d various um, RTH session, IB session, or bar size and um, have the second indicator component put it on the chart uh, various time frames or um, time sessions 
Alright, so I hope this explained the indicator for you, and if you have any questions, um, just let me know. Thank you so much. I uh, appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.